<laughs> yeah. All right. Hi, Dave. Hello, Jonathan. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? I am well. How was your week, man? It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Uh, Do anything fun? Of, yeah, a lot of sporting events. Lot Ooh, of sporting like what? Events. Like what? Rams, Kings, more Rams, more Kings. It's good. You went to the Sunday night game? I did. I did where the Titans. Was it Monday night? Yeah, yeah, Sunday night. It was a Sunday night game. Yeah, Sun. They played Sunday, then Monday. Yeah, where the Titans spanked them on Sunday, and then they went to San Francisco and got spanked on Monday. So there's that. But they can't lose uh, another game, though, right? Like the Rams are not going to lose another game. If the Rams lose another game. (laughs) Um, <laughs> you could say goodbye to their Super Bowl chances. I, I I think they play Jacksonville at the beginning of December back at SoFi. If they lose to That's Jacksonville a loss. and SoFi, if they lose to Jackson, <laughs> say goodbye to the Super Bowl. Dude, say, I'm going to that game. Say, oh, are you? Yeah, my first well, that, time at that- SoFi. That's their next. Actually, that's their next game because they have a bye this week. Yeah, they have a bye. So yeah, that. Uh, yeah, it, they're gonna. If they lose that game, they're done. Uh, you, your first time at SoFi ever. You've never even stepped foot in the facility. Not even. Not even. You know, I drove by it. You know, went to Costco across the street. But you know, nice. Never, no, never been a- inside. Been in the Holloway. Uh, was it the the Hollywood Park Casino? Been inside there. Um, yeah. <laughs> Flew over SoFi, yeah, yeah. Flew yeah. over it with the with the lights going on, and sometimes they show they the game. Them? It's pretty, yeah. it's pretty cool. Oh, they show the game on the top of the roof. Sometimes they'll show like a video footage of of like the game and no. stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, or they'll show like a video of whatever's happening, you know. But uh, yeah, and then uh, I'm excited for that. But uh, so yeah, lots of sports for you. Lots of sports. So what did you do? Ah, uh, shit, I don't even remember. All I know is that uh. My girlfriend ended up. Uh, Krista started decorating the the house. So nice. Yeah, yeah. So there's For a Christmas, Christmas time. There's Christmas decorations already. So uh, screw that. But um, I think yeah. uh, I think the Janksters, uh don't really care. Wait, hold on, right hold on, now. hold on, hold on. Yep. All right. Omar, Omar, what did you do? Omar, where's Omar? Wow. Okay. All right. So <laughs> so quite quite the 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 week we had mugs uh let me start yeah. off let me start off by yeah. by uh saying you know that week man um it was two weeks ago right from mm-hmm. when we were recording this uh and that week started out great for me because i could you know honestly say now i kind of wanted to keep it under wraps because i you know i don't want to jinx anything but you know i finally got a job right like finally started my my first my first day on the job first week Slow of clap. the job Yes. Slow clap, everybody. Ha- you know, happy to be working again, and and uh, you know, and I start the job. It's 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 weird. It's a it's slow day. Okay, cool. Then Tuesday happens, and we have our call and everything, and and we run down the schedule. You weren't on the call because you're you. Um, mm-hmm. And and then uh, Wednesday we record. We record on Wednesday, and mugs. Uh, there was this bit that that uh happened called uh limb games right and, and I, I up to that point i thought the episode was going great we were having a good time you were back at it like you know you were back involved and and we were having fun and you know limb games happens and you know omar does it and he he makes the phone call does the thing uh he goes to me i say i'm not gonna do it and I, and I poo-pooed it, and and he got a little upset. But then he went to you, and mm-hmm. and uh, you killed it. I thought yours was the funniest one. Uh, you had a, a very good call. But then Omar went back to me to try to to fit to finish the bit, which I thought was a bad call. But you know what? Hey, he wanted to go to it, and I uh, I, I I ruined it on purpose, right? Like I just wasn't gonna do it. I I didn't like it, so so I didn't do it. And then that's when everything went to shit right like yeah he got upset um you know and then uh we got into a little argument a little tiff on on the air which you know i thought at the moment was was something small um then he you know disconnected and hung up and and dropped everything and 
And, you know, and I, and, you know, I apologize to him because I thought like, Hey man, if it really, uh, if it really affected you that way, then I'm sorry. You know, that wasn't my intention, but my intention was to not do the bit, but you, you knew it made me uncomfortable and, and I didn't want to do it. Uh, Muggs did it. I thought it was fine. And, uh, you know, he ended the, the episode on with laughter. So I thought we were cool and everything, and, and I didn't think anything of it. The next day happens, right? I noticed the the episode is posted. Everything is, is up, and I'm like, oh, that's odd. He just posted it on Thursday instead of Friday for the Patreons who, uh, you know, get it on Friday, and the regular everyone else gets it on Monday with ads and stuff like that. So he posted it, and then around, like, 4 o'clock, I get a phone call from Omar and it's, you know, it's, it's to me and you and, and, uh, and you know, you didn't answer cause you were asleep. Cause um, I'm, I'm me. Cause yeah, <laughs> you're, you're, I was done. You're you <laughs> three, three and four on a not recording day are pretty much even on recording days that I, my body goes into a natural nap mode from yeah. you know, being up at 6am every morning. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, that's, so I missed it. And I wasn't expecting the call either. So no, I didn't, neither, you know, neither was I, I, I just happened yeah. to always have my phone on me and then I was watching TV and then, uh, Omar, you know, he, I pick up and you didn't, so you were napping. And Omar has a chat with me and says, "Hey, you know what? I am done, and I am done with the podcast. I'm gonna leave." And I said, "Oh, okay. You know, was it because of the bit yesterday?" He said, "No, it wasn't. Um, but uh, you know, it wasn't. It's just a bunch of other things that you know he has got going on and." And I said, hey, man, you know, honestly, if it was the bit, tell me because, you know, that's that's on me. And and that was uh, oh, hold on. I is, think is that him? Omar might be is that him calling? Uh, Omar might be calling. He, he might have to interject here to say his piece. Uh, Sorry, I got to yeah. disconnect that phone. <laughs> that's quite all right. No, it's not Omar. It's not Omar. No, oh. Omar's not calling. <laughs> No. Yeah. So, you know, we 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 talk and, and he just says, no, nah, it's not, man. You know, it's just, you know. I just can't do it anymore. And then he goes, I don't want to get into it. And I said, okay, because I'm not going to push him, man. Like, you know, he doesn't want to do it. He always said if it was never fun for him, yeah. he wouldn't do it anymore. So that's what I took, you know, and I just – it wasn't fun for him anymore. Um, and, you know, it's – you know, I hang up, and I'm, like, just, like, really bummed. And, and it didn't – I was like, okay, well, I guess it's 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 done. And, and then, you know, I, I text you because I just, you know – didn't want you to wake up to you know a firestorm and because right after i hung up he too, posted too on, bad dave because i did <laughs> yeah yeah he posted on patreon he yeah. posted <laughs> on on uh on uh instagram twitter <laughs> facebook everywhere he posted that he he was done with the with the with the podcast and that, yeah. you know wishing us the best and mm -hmm. and uh and like you know and i was like okay cool you know he had it ready he's ready to go um, and then, uh, and then I talked to you, you know, like, Hey, just heads up. And, and then, you know, what were you thinking when, when you woke up to that? Oh boy. First I was like, well, let me wipe this dried saliva off the side of my head. Uh, <laughs> and I, you know, I didn't, a lot of things went through my head actually. And I didn't see necessarily see that coming. So I, it was a shock. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was totally blindsided as well. Uh, like, you know, I did not, you know, anticipate that. I don't think really anybody did, uh, our janks is included, but, <clears throat> you know, then obviously you're sitting there like, okay, well, uh, you obviously think back, well, okay, was it the bit? <laughs> was it? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought it, too. You know, was it the was bit? Was it me being late a couple weeks? Was it, you know, and I think I just sat there and I put it all together and while Omar, you know, first I got to say about Omar, Omar is when it comes down to <clears throat> the work aspect and everything, he's the hardest working dude. I know. I mean, 16 stations for a reason, right? A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. And, and also, you know, along with the hard work, he's really, really talented. He's, you know, he, he just know he's been doing it for so long. He knows the formula. And I was under the impression, you know, that's he was enjoying it, and he yeah. w wanted to do everything, and everything was mapped out so that it was a fair cut 
when it came down to Patreon and our advertisers, Omar would get the biggest percentage because Omar did do most of the work. Yeah. But we, I also thought like that's what that that's what we had agreed upon. And so at the end of the day, you know, I, I you know I work with Omar Monday through Friday, and yeah. <clears throat> so after I kind of go through everything in my head, the the conclusion I came to was look doesn't matter what I think or what happened or what this, that, and the next thing he, if he's done, he's done. I can't, you know, I can't change that. It is what it is. And you got to respect that. And you, you're right. He always said if he was not having fun anymore, he was out. And well, how, how was I, it the next day at work? I mean, was it awkward or was it like, no, was it nothing? Just like, Hey man, cause I mean, it, you guys don't even really talk at work anymore. Cause you guys are doing your own thing. Right. Yeah. I mean, we chat on occasion, you know, Omar's super, super busy and, you know, we're all, we're always constantly working, but he came into my, um, my little, uh, closet there. They put me in a closet at K-Rock <laughs> with computers. <laughs> and, You're not in uh, the office? No, no, I'm not in the office. And there's like a nice empty desk from like the two producers that Klein and Ali have gone through so far. Uh, <clears throat> is my desk still there? <laughs> Your desk is still there. Uh, June has taken that over, uh. That bitch. 4.0. That bitch. <laughs> she's sweet. No, leave, she's leave, leave my desk alone. It's mine. She, it, she didn't take it. It wasn't her choice to take it over, Dave. She, <laughs> it was just vacant by the time she she, she, she moved in. Anyway, um, how about my chair? Is my chair still there? It's probably all broken well, by now. <laughs> I. They have chairs there from the 1930s, I think, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Um, but. Omar comes into my, my, my room there and he says, Hey man, I tried to call you yesterday. I was like, yeah, I, I saw, I'm sorry. I was, I was out. And, um, he's like, yeah, I just, you know, no hard feelings. I was like, I, I understand dude. I, I no hard feelings, man. I, I, you know, you don't have to explain. And my, <clears throat> what am I going to do? Get upset at the guy? Like, how dare you? <laughs> uh, how can you do this? Yeah. How can you leave us? Uh, obviously, I'm going to miss Omar very much. Uh, like I said, uh, I loved when, when, when us three were gelling on, on this podcast for sure. Yeah. It was fun, dude. And, and, yeah. and, and Omar was a part of that. And, you know, I loved making Omar laugh. Uh, I loved having him make me laugh. So I loved the camaraderie and everything, but like at the same time, it, he made a pretty big decision that he was done. So I, I got to respect it. And move on and that was kind of that and um you know i, I also i added to him i was like yeah I, I don't he's like i think i volunteered like you know i dave and i have to discuss what's going to go on because i don't i don't know and we gotta yeah. you know, we gotta figure things out so but that was it it was very very brief and our our uh you know work uh aura i should say yeah uh, is fine it's, it's fine it's i mean it's not it's not really it's not awkward we you know, we're doing these Hollywood Park Casino things. Oh, he's got a free plug. Yeah. yeah, we just got a free plug on our podcast, by the way. So I gotta make sure I get a <laughs> ribeye at the Century Bar and Grill. Another plug. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, we, we you know it's it, but but at the end of the at the end of the day, you know, I also want to come on here and you know clear a lot of things up that may have been going on. Well, in the one in the wonderful world that is uh, internet. <laughs> Uh, comment areas. Yeah. Well, here's here's the thing, and here's like I think why I, I really wanted to record this episode is because there is a narrative out there that's going on about you know Omar did everything and we did nothing, and you know, and you know, listen, a lot of that was on air talk, and let, let's not take away from Omar of what he did no. because he no. did a lot. Like there is a lot of behind the scenes shit and, and yeah. uh, that he did. And you're right. He recorded, he recorded the video. He would set yep, up he, all the, the, yep. the recording stuff. Uh, he got the, the, the manscape sponsorship. He dealt yep, with them. Yep. He handled, you know, everything. Right. And, and, and to your point, yes, he was, uh, you know, he took the fair share of the money because that's that's how we figured that's how we that's our appreciation of right. of him taking care of that is he obviously makes more because it's fair 
because right. that's that's the effort he's putting in. That's the reward he's going to get. You know, yeah. uh, as far as myself, I thought I put in a lot of, of effort when it came to content and stuff like that. You know, Absolutely. I didn't do any of the of the recording because I don't have the equipment. But, nope. um, you know, I, I did my fair share. And, you know, I would always you joke did. that I, I did 15 percent or 5 percent right. because it was funny and, right. and it was funny. But when people, you know, take that and run and believe it and when. Other people were saying, "Oh yeah, that's all he it, did. The fuck them. They yeah. didn't do shit." You know. Yeah. And it, it that's that's what kind of you know gets at me is that like when when people don't understand what the dynamic is between us, you know. And and Omar has always said that you know I'll say it again. He always said that that he if it's never fun, he's gonna quit, right? And he quit because it wasn't fun for him anymore. Regardless of what the reason was, whether it was us not doing enough or whatever, it wasn't he, he didn't find it fun and that's that's it. Now also yeah. he said that and also also, well, also hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. okay. Yeah, he, he also said <laughs> yeah, he, he also said that that you know, he doesn't enjoy grown-up talks. He never enjoys right. these talks where, where, you know, he's gonna come down on us for, for, for not doing something or you know, like we need to do more or whatever. He's just gonna be like whatever. And I think it got to the point where he didn't want to have that talk. He didn't want to you know do any of this anymore. It wasn't worth it for him, and he was done. Now, am I mad at Omar? No, not even no. a little bit. I love the guy, man. Like he, we've been friends for 20 years. And yeah. if there was anything that he didn't want to do, I'd be like, all right, cool. Don't do it. I didn't want to do the bit. He doesn't want to do the podcast. It's fine, man. Like <laughs> I'm not one that's going to force someone to do something they, they don't want to do. You know, he said, if it ever felt like a, also said that if it ever felt like a job, he's done. It must've felt yeah. like a job to him. Cause I dude, trust me, man. I just setting shit up and just changing things around like like you know he gave me access to everything and and i was just changing things like you know behind the scenes stuff it has a lot of work and and yeah you know so but you know uh so i get it i get it man what were you gonna say i, I was gonna say everything you were gonna say he it, he didn't want to he didn't like the grown-up talk so it never got to the point where he he was gonna give us the reason he he just said he was out which is like i said i've understood i understood why he did it and 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 the way he did it you know what i mean yeah like everything you explained but like that's you know that's the thing you know the 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 firestorm <laughs> of people saying that we were shitty partners or uh yeah you know whatever the reason was that that i mean we when we were all like on doing the podcast when I was on, look, I'm going to go ahead and speak for myself. Yeah. This last year for me, I mean, there's, are there certain, uh, patrons and jenkses that know, like, I mean, actually I've, I've talked about it on the, on the podcast, the <clears throat> mental health issues that I've been going through. And I'm not using that as an excuse, but no, there are, there were, there were days mostly every day where I would have to, and it's not. It's not because it was a chore. It was I would have to muster up the emotional fortitude to be somewhat entertaining to someone who's going to put this on their speakers, you know, and that yeah. right there. And also, I mean, just tons and everybody goes every it's like, I, you know, I'm not making excuses, but, you know, there there are tons of single parent households. There are tons of, you know, divorcees. So, you know, me being in my mood some days it affected me and I know it did and it sucks. And I'm actually seeking out therapy to try to help that. So I, you know, there are the, the days that I face that I just don't have any motivation or whatever, you know, emotional or otherwise, I want to change that because like I said, when we, us three were on, yeah, we, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was fun. You know, I just, the whole past year, I wish we were, we were in the same studio, but you know, same, that, that same. Ha- yeah. Now, but, Muggs, I'll be completely honest, man. Like uh, yeah. the past couple of weeks leading up to this, we were, we were, I, I would, 
I'll speak for myself because obviously he's not here to to interject or say anything. But right. but we were getting frustrated with you and and even understanding that that you were going through a lot of shit and that's why we're yeah. like okay why he's going through shit. But it's still frustrating certain aspects of simple communication, right? Like that's, yes, that's all what we ask like simple communication and you weren't yeah. giving it to us and that right. Dodger thing like like really like irked me a lot and and you know and we're like well now is Mug serious about this and. And, you know, like, does he want to do it with us anymore? And, and you know, that's that's what I was thinking. Like, like, does, does he just want to be like a, a contributor here and there? Like, I don't I don't know what Muggs wants to do, but yeah. I know you, I know you were going through some shit. So I'm not going to bump, like, you know, force it out and have that grown up talk. And neither did Omar. Omar didn't want to have that right. grown up talk. And and I was fine with it because, like, you know what? This was this was me in my mind. If Muggs doesn't want to do it, fine. I love doing it with Omar. Um, you know, we'll just do it. And mug shows up when he shows up and, and cause you're right. When we're together, we have fun. Um, now with that said is, you know, the last one we were having fun. I, I thought we were, yeah. and then I fucking, you know, ruined it by not doing the bit, but to the people who were saying like, you know, you guys are asshole partners and stuff like that. They don't get it, man. They just don't get it. And, you know, and they don't know our dynamic. Right. And there's, yeah. There's also the people who are now upset at Omar, right? Like the janksters yeah. who are upset at Omar for for not, you know, coming forth like of with his true feelings of like why 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 he quit right. and to you know one thing I would say is is that it kind of bummed me out that that he did it in the the beginning of the month because our Patreons just paid and, you know, and I really love to like, like, I don't think it's fair to like just bounce and dip when, when they just paid, you know, and, and I, I wanted to fulfill everything that, that they're offering for the month like we offer for the month. So, so yeah, like I want to do this one and I'm going to do another one and, and uh, you know, and, and have the zoom and like normal and then, you know, and we'll see where we go from there. But but uh, yeah, people are upset, at Omar, and I'm like, you know what? I get it. I get why you're upset. But do you ever think that like he doesn't? Not not that he needs to tell you what's going on, but you don't know what's going on with him. I don't know what's going right. on with him. You know, like yeah. so, so he he doesn't want to like it, it bothered him enough that that he quit. You know, yeah. like he stopped doing it. So I don't think he wants to start talking to everybody else and and you know explaining himself to everybody no. and. and the, the, and he doesn't have he, does, he doesn't, he doesn't have, to. have to just take it at that just take it as jank says i know it it sounds like it might sound shady to say but just the guy didn't want to do it anymore and it, it's not you guys it's us you yeah. know like it's the podcast in general it's it's a lot on his plate it's so, a lot of stuff it's so a lot of stuff. you know and, and he's and, a he's a really busy dude and you know that that factors into it that fact, yeah you know he 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 his his, his main workload is k-rock yeah. Uh, and then he's got his wedding gig, right? Yeah. So th this was this was the fun thing at the end that made you know th yeah you know we get tiny amounts of scratch for you know I'm yeah. not sending not sending my kid <laughs> to college with this. It, it, so he figured you know what I don't I I can't I can't allot my time to this anymore and that's it. Yeah. Um, fuck. What was I gonna say? Shit. I forgot. Anyways, it's okay. But, <laughs> no. But you um, know. But I, I really love it though when people that we work with. Uh, that used to work with start start things. I mean that that was great. <laughs> that was great. That uh, was fantastic. Yeah, they they don't know, man. Like, I, and and I went off on being. I I I said, dude, you you don't know what's up. Just just stop. And yeah. and he he's like, I'm sorry, I didn't know, man. I just only what I heard. I was like, yeah, but yeah. Just, see, that's just stop. I mean, I was like, just stop. Yeah. You, you don't get it. But man, it's but at least lightning gets it. <laughs> At least lightning doesn't yeah. go on the comments and and say hey, that's what happens when you do most of the work. Yeah, I was about. I, was, I love you, lightning, but I was about to. I, you were you were supposed to be at SEMA that week, and I literally was right about to write in the comments. You was going to be at. Semen? Shouldn't you be at SEMA? Oh, SEMA, not semen. Yeah, oh, yeah, semen shit. too. Semen as well. Yeah, ah, uh, but listen, here's here's the last thing I would say about Omar, and I'm gonna move on because it's. 
he, he's done, right? So he, he's done. and He's and done. He's done, and that's it. But what I will say is I'm going and, to miss well, hold him. On. And, All right. and maybe if we can – okay, so – before we get to the before we get to the finalization of Omar being gone, yeah, you know, we don't know the future of Dave and I yet, right? We gotta. I think we we can continue this. Well, we'll get to uh, that later. We'll get to that later. Uh, okay. Yeah. I don't. Right, so I, I, I don't just want to say my final thoughts on Omar. Right? Okay. I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm gonna miss the guy. This this is what you have to look forward to with me and Dave, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love the guy. He's my friend for 20 years. You know, I'm not mad at him at all. I know people keep DMing me like, dude, aren't you pissed at Omar? No, not at all. No. I am not mad at Omar at all. I love the dude. And I really, truly hope that he now has time to spend with his family. You know, every time he would start the podcast, have fun at dance class. You know, like yeah. maybe you could go see him at the dance class now and play soccer with them and do all that fun dad shit. So, oh, I'm going to miss you. Um but uh, thanks for setting us up, and thanks for getting us together, Mugs. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I, I everything that I that I talked about about Omar. I mean, being a stand up guy, hardworking guy, talented guy. Uh, he, you know, he this wouldn't be possible what Dave and I are doing now without him. And I appreciate where he left us. And uh, now it's time for Dave and I to sink this bad boy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but th- I would say this, Mugs. There was yeah. this little event that was uh, supposed to happen. Oh at, yeah, at a, at a O'Grady's, right? Yeah. Um, the live recording for episode sixty nine. Yep. Now I don't think we're gonna make it to sixty nine, right? But I wanted to propose something to you, and yeah. I wanted to get your thoughts on this. Sure. We've heard from so many janksters. Oh, 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 hold on. Whoa. Is it op- not, not Omar? No, Still not, not Omar. Omar. Still not Still Omar. Not Omar. <laughs> okay. We've heard from so many janksters about coming to episode 69 at O'Grady's on December mm-hmm. 3rd at 9 p.m. They were like, we're so excited. We're flying in. We're driving yeah. in. We have someone coming from Hawaii, right? And from Vegas. Yeah. I got another, you know, DM saying, hey, I was flying in for for episode 69. Is it going to happen? Yeah. Yeah, listen, the actual episode is not going to happen, but I wanted to propose something to you, Muggs, and yes. and, and I want I want to know where you stand on this. I would hate because I love the Jenkses and I'm a man of the people. I've always said that. I would hate to stop this event from happening and stop people from meeting each other. Real Jenkses in real life in IRL as some ghosts used to say. Um, <laughs> you know, uh and I I'm proposing that instead of episode 69 at O'Grady's, we do a Jankster meetup and we celebrate everything that was Janky Town and that may become Janky Town. I'm inviting you, Mugs, Jonathan Cantro, to come to your favorite watering hole, O'Grady's, at 9 p.m. I'll probably get there at 7 because I want to watch the Laker game and the Laker Clipper game. So I'll probably get there a little. A lot of TVs. TVs. You're good. A lot of TVs there. Yeah. And I say we just get there and just drink. Have a okay. drink with the Jankstas and have a Janksta meetup. And we'll just celebrate Janky Town, man. You know, okay. like, like, you know, and then we'll, you know, get live feedback from people if, if they want to hear us continue or not. And, yeah. you know, I think that would be fun. Um, what do you think, man? Do you, would, you, would you be down to, to show up and, and make it? or If I physically make it. To December 3rd, and I'm still alive on this earth. <laughs> I will be there. Well, okay. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's a yes. Yes. All right. So that's something at least that will come out of this. Please, if, if yeah. episode 69, not happening, but a Jankster, Janky Town. The recording, town, yeah. The, the recording's, yeah, recording's not, happening. not happening. But a Janky Town meetup is yeah. happening. Yeah. Jonathan Birma Cantro, Dave, myself. Dave, that's what I'm going to just call Dave, the king of Mexico, Sanchez. Yes, we will be there. We will be there to have some drinks. The bartender Spectrum will be there, right? What was his name? Yeah. Uh, Ramson. Ramson. What? Ramson? Ramson. Whose house? Ramson's Ramson's house. house. Yeah. No, so there will be sports going on. Um, Mugs, I don't know what else we could do to make entice people, but you know what? We'll be there, and if you want to come have drinks with us, 
finally we'll get yeah. we'll, we'll we'll get a chance to meet some of you r- people in real life and I would love to hug each and every one of you. Not too close, but like my face will be turned away because I don't know where right. you fuckers have been. You know, listen, I got the booster. Ooh, can I talk about the booster real quick? Because wow, ADD, but yes, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, no, I, I was gonna talk about this. My well, my week. That's what I was gonna talk about. My week. Yeah, I totally yeah. forgot about this, but I got the booster you got the booster, shot, right? It fuck you up. No, my arm is sore. That's about, about it, right? First, I got the Johnson and Johnson, and then I got the Moderna, right? Because the Moderna, I read that it gives you more. Anyways, we not, not the wait, wait, wait. You got two boosters in a week? No, no, I got the Johnson Johnson, the, my first vaccine. Was oh, Johnson your first Johnson. one ever was but the then, but then you're, Johnson. Yeah, you're allowed to choose whatever the booster was. And gotcha, it, okay. I read the Moderna works best with Johnson & Johnson, okay, instead of Pfizer or, or uh, oh, interesting. Johnson & Johnson again. But anyways, regardless, I get the, the fucking the booster. I'm wiped out that day. I'm tired or whatever. <laughs> no worries. But then I fucking, two days later, my earlobe, dude, just starts like gushing wax. Like what, dude? It just starts gushing wax, and what I'm like, "What the hell?" And like, literally, like this is gonna get gross. But my 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 pillowcase is white, and there's oh, spots no. on it. I'm like, "What the fuck is going on?" So I, I, you know, I'm cleaning my ears out, and and you know, okay, cleans it out, clean it out, clean it out, and then an hour later, blah, more wax, and I'm like, "Dude, what the fuck?" Okay, so I let two two days go by. And then I start freaking out like, yo, is this the booster? Like, this is crazy. What? So I text Dr. Gill. I text him. I'm like, yo, man, is there is there any, like, research or anything that says that there, these side effects <laughs> happen of your ear just gusting? And he just laughs. Like, he sends me a text. Ha, 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 ha. No. <laughs> so, but, but I think that was true. And now, like, yeah. dude, you can't see my ear. But, dude, I started picking at it because it started getting oh. dry. And I started picking at my ear, and then I took my dog to the vet yesterday, and I'm picking at my ear, and right before I get in, I just gush blood every all over my ear. So like, I, oh I, my I go, god, Dave, dude, I go into the vet. Go to... I got, no, it's done. It's it's not. It's it's dry now. Like it, it's cool. Everything's did, copacetic. Did, did the vet but, go like, all right, uh, leave your dog here. We're gonna take dude, you to work on you in the back. They, they just like my ear was all blood, and the the vet's like, you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I just got. Out of tissue, I was like, "Thanks, wow. man." <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, so, so I, what, what's I, the pro? So, did you figure out what it was? I don't know, man. Fuck it. Dave, what? You gotta go to the. You gotta go to like a ear, nose, and throat doctor. That's not normal. Whatever. It's not normal for you. Listen, Doctor Gill said it was cool. Doctor Gill said it's not a side effect. It stopped leaking. My ear stopped leaking. My ear it stopped bleeding. It got a little dry, but you know, like uh, here we go. Like it, so it's, it's good. Just- it's random. It's a random earwax uh, purge, is what you're saying. It uh, must be. But dude, it like like oh, man, this is this is kind of this is but, gross. Yeah, but but you know like like you've had earwax. Like you know what? Fuck you. Because when Doctor Gill came to to, to K Rock yeah. and took out nuggets out of all your ears, yeah. my ear was clean. He was fine, and and I was really worried because I have always have ear head like ear heads ear like my uh, earbuds Aches. in. And and oh, no no right, and yeah. I always think like you know oh fuck what if it's just pushing all the the wax in and no, wax he's like, back in yeah he's like no nah, you're good he had to like fight yours to get yeah. it out Kevin's flew across the fucking room yeah you know and it was it was gross it's disgusting but, but like so so you know you know how when the earwax gets dry like you like you pick it or you clean it and you're like oh fuck flakes gross nasty but now it's gone it's clean and it's cleaner than ever so maybe it's That's just like weird like. Like I don't know if my maybe my body heated up enough where like have you ever done the the candle the cupping the ca- or, or candle the in candle your ear? cup yeah no yeah the and then candle, it all just no, no. it all just dips out uh-uh. I go maybe my body did that naturally so I don't know man so uh, well was that's, it a side of was it a side the booster of, yeah but the point let me the bring point it is all the, back to the point is I'm all is, boosted up and we're yeah. gonna fucking I'm gonna hang out with people at at yeah. O'Grady's on December 3rd. and the people have some random uh, possible <laughs> earwax uh, flood to look no, forward no, to no 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 we're good we're we good talking with that. to you and all of a sudden your ears just gonna start gushing <laughs> wax yeah oh my god oh man all good right times. man uh, at time.
It's that time to be thankful. And you know what I'm thankful for? Some smooth, silky mashed potatoes. And that's thanks to Manscaped. Whether you're white meat or dark meat, join the 2 million men worldwide by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code JANKY20. Get your gobble on with the Performance Package 4.0. Inside, you'll find the holy grail of men's grooming item. They've made it easy for you to upgrade your grooming routine. Got a little too much stuffing? Their finely tuned Pew products feature a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. The Lawnmower 4.0 is easily the greatest ball trimmer on the planet. Oh, did I mention this trimmer is waterproof too? This trimmer is a shower essential. The Performance Package 4.0 also includes the Weed Whacker, a total game changer to your men's hygiene arsenal. The Weed Whacker is a nose and ear hair trimmer that provides proprietary skin safe technology that helps prevent nicks, snags, and tugs in those delicate holes. Seal the deal with Manscaped's liquid formulations. Their Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Ball Toner will make sure your pumpkin pies stay fresh. Manscaped even threw in two free gifts to their Performance Package 4.0, the Manscaped Boxers and the Shed Travel Bag. Bring your comfort and boxers to another level. And if you got them turkey claws, be sure to look into the Shears 2.0 Nail Kit. They have a bunch of other life-changing products on their website, so be sure to check it out. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code JANKY20 at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code JANKY20 at Manscaped.com. One last thing before yeah. we, we head out of here. Wrap it up. And yeah, yeah, because this is this is like a, a Minnesota. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, anyways. Uh, <laughs> you want me to take the lead, Dave? No, no, because <laughs> because I I wanted to ask you on something that that happened in the news in the yes. news. Oh, we're doing this a little segment. Week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, just, okay, I just okay. wanted to. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted because okay. because I wanted to get your take. Okay. Because as you mentioned, yes. you were at the Kings game last. This was it yesterday. Yeah. You were at it the was Kings game yesterday, yeah. and yep. yesterday is when the news broke. Right. That Staples Center is no more. Right. Staples Center is now going to be called Crypto.com. Crip. Crip. <laughs> yeah. You, what's it, what's, what does Snoop say? I got my brag on my left side. Cut. Yeah, that's the Crip side. I got, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the Crip side. Yeah. The, so, yeah, the Crypto.com arena. Yes. Yeah. That was announced that for $700 million over 20 years, uh, Staple Center will now be known as Crypto.com Arena. Now, yeah. ah, dude, I don't My, know how – what are your thoughts on it? Because I have thoughts okay. on it. My thoughts go one of two ways. I <laughs> they're understand. Your thoughts. They're, they're, they go they, – that's the way they go. They're your thoughts. Okay, well, I, I, I fall I, – okay, what I was trying to say was I fall in the middle kind of sort of. Uh, the f- okay, so much history has gone down at the Staples Center, right? Yeah, minus anything having to do with the Clippers. Yeah, uh, sorry, Dave. That's uh, true. What? Which, it's, which it's, by the way, sorry, it's true. Which, by the way, Dave, you know, if they do finally, if they win a NBA championship this season, yeah, they're still not going to ever win a championship at Staples <laughs> Center because it'll be changed by December. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, Christmas, Dave. right? No, that's fine. Sorry, hey, look. Yeah, Christmas. Hey, look, Lizzo said it right. Right, truth hurts. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so it, it so many memories have gone down there. Um, uh, five Laker championships, mm-hmm. two King Stanley Cups. Yeah. So many crazy moments. So lots many concerts. of sold out Taylor Swift concerts. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. Just so many, so many huge events, Grammys, everything. I understand that you know people are bummed people are literally bummed about the name change because that's all they know it as but yeah that's what it started it started as a sponsored a sponsorship (laughs) name for an arena it wasn't it wasn't ever the la arena or the la anything it was started as the staples center it's not even a cool it's not even a cool sponsorship either right it's staples like yeah yeah it's like (laughs) Uh, come to the uh, Osh Gardening Center, you know, like come to the Osh Gosh Big Osh. Osh isn't even in business anymore. Anyway, <laughs> that that was a bad that was a bad analogy. Yeah. Something you have, something else you have to look forward to, to with this new uh, duo we have here. Yeah, um, I think they should have. With that being said, all the memories that happened, I think they should have somehow. Incorporated Staples Center into the new name. What? Maybe like 
Crypto de- crazy. Crypto.com arena at Staples Center. No. To always have it be, to always pay homage to, I, you know, Listen. I mean, look, I'm always going to call it Staples Center. Why? Or, or, actually, I know no, you're I'm not. Gonna call it, no, I'm going to call it Crypto Arena or Crypto Center. Crypto Center. That's what I'm going to call it. That's what I, uh, the Crypto Center. Uh, I'm just to say the name wrong on purpose. Wow, you're gonna uh, you're gonna show them and they're seven hundred million dollars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, but here's here's the trippy thing though, dude. So you know, AEG owns the building, right? And here's what I've heard: I've heard that Staples paid a lot of money to keep the name like in proprietary. I can't say that word. Propriety. Pro- yeah. Proprietary. 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 Right. Right, they yeah. got the naming rights proprietary, right? Right. AEG gave back their money and more, and said, "We're good. Here's wow. Here's uh, wow. we're now crypto, dude. Ooh. I literally just posted on Instagram that I was at Staples on on uh, Sunday. Yeah, and I I tagged the location, Staples Center. It already Is changed it to Crypto Arena. Are you serious? Yeah, it's crypto dot com. The 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 Instagram handle has changed. I was like. Bro, you can't wait till Christmas when yeah, when they, it actually takes changed, into effect. Yeah, they haven't even changed the sign outside yet. And here's what, what what's gonna be crazy is yeah, what are they gonna do with that Staples Center sign? Does it go to the Vegas graveyard or do they start an LA oh. one? Like like what do they do with those those lights? Because in the front, like it's a Staples Center that was iconic, man. Like eh, it wasn't iconic. It was just nice. It was like a nice part of of LA. But yeah, here's here's a fun fact, and and I honestly don't care about the Staples Center. Uh, Name? Name. I don't care because you're right. Nothing ever happened good for me there, you know? But <laughs> but here's a fun fact. I lived there for a fucking week. I lived at Staples Center. Like you slept there? Yes. Well, I didn't sleep, but yeah, that was for a whole week. That's where what I did the, the very first TV watching. Oh, World record attempt. It was in wow. that little I, I don't even know what's in that little front area anymore. Is it still a shoe store? Is it still the Nike hoops or whatever? Or is it just oh, closed yeah, off? Yeah, yeah, I think there's nothing in it right now. But right yeah, now? that's where you did it. Yeah, that's where I did it. And I lived there for a week, man. Wow. And that was insane. So, you know, I do have a little, you know, that's your piece, that's piece your of my only heart. Nostalgia, that's my only nostalgia <laughs> is I lived there. Come on, man. Yeah. Like but but yeah, Staples Center, and I'm just finally happy that we're having an arena again. You know, we don't have so many arenas. A center? What's a center? Staples Center. Eh. You know, it's an arena. That's right. It's and now we get to play in the arena. That's why it's in Inuit Arena and in Inglewood. It's gonna be better than Staples yeah. or Crypto.com Arena. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Now, but, if they well, change, if they change uh, Dodger Stadium to oh uh, no. Only- that- no, no, no. Dodgers OnlyFans.com yeah. stadium or something. I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> yeah. You know, OnlyFans uh, put in – no, is it OnlyFans? No, it was Pornhub who put in a bid when they were renaming the Miami uh, uh, American Airlines Arena. <laughs> the Pornhub. They, they, they put in like a $100 million bid or something like that, and, and they're, they're like, nope. We're like, we can't do that. We you're can't at, do the You're asking the Pornhub. what's the center, Dave? You're asking what's the center? <laughs> <laughs> the, the the complex in Miami, the Pornhub Center. The Pornhub Center. It. Yeah, but Bugs, do you have do you have like a favorite Staples Center memory? Because you know it's so hard Dude. to say goodbye. There's so to many. Yesterday. Dave, like the day. Dave, there's so many. I have so many memories. I mean, I um I never saw a Lakers championship inside. Uh, I was there for uh, both Stanley Cups, uh, but I didn't. I was out at, um, I was outside in the like LA Live area because I, I couldn't get tickets to Game Five of the yeah. first King Stanley Cup. Uh, but all the all the celebrities and musicians that I interviewed uh, for the Grammy roundtables that always took place there. But look. But you, you know, know what? It's still going to be there, right? It's still going to be there. You know? It's still going to be there. Like, yeah. it's, 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 still, it's, it's the yeah, same building. It's a I fucking think building, are, dude. I, people are sort of overreacting. But look, I get it. I Because all the memories took place at the Staples Center. You know, and that's what it was for 22 years. Uh, all I know is that my Staples Center hoodie, my Staples Center shirt, and my Staples Center notebook are now gone up in value. So thank you. <laughs> Yeah, Thank man. You, crypto.com. I, I, I was a lot more hurt when uh, that. What was that Microsoft Theater? The little one. The, the change from uh, it changed to the Novo. It changed to the Novo. Oh. I was like, oh, what? Oh, that sucks, man. I love that. It was like the Novo. What the hell's the Novo? Who's gonna go yeah. to the Novo? I was more hurt by that than Staples. 
<laughs> I mean, this. I mean, this is. A, I mean, this is probably. This is going to be happening for the. You know, obviously for the rest of the time. Sports, major sports, is in existence. The arena names are just going to be changing. Oh I yeah, mean, yeah. It, it know, happens a lot, you know. But like, there's some iconic spots like MSG, right? Never gonna, never gonna change. Right. You know, Dodger Fen- Stadium, never Fenway gonna Park, change. never gonna get named. Yankee right. Stadium, Yankee Stadium, Rose Bowl, Wrigley Field, Rose Bowl, huh? Rose Bowl. See Rose Bowl and Coliseum; those are all those are hundred, uh, you know, close to a hundred years. I will, yeah. I mean, Coliseum is over a hundred years. Rose Bowl is, I think, the same. They, I don't think they can't, they can't change it. Do you know, they, Mugs? They actually do have a sponsorship at the Rose Bowl. And you know what? I think they'll have one at the Coliseum as well. It's like kind of like the. It's like it's American like a, Airlines tack- Field right. at the yeah, Rose Bowl or some shit like that, Bowl. right? Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. They should do Crypto.com Arena at the Staples Center. No, it should be Crypto <laughs> Crypto.com Arena at the Purple Building. That's it. And by the way, <laughs> the that's that's the only build. thing. That's the only the purple thing. Purple Building with the red roof. Yeah, Crypto. Please don't change the purple. I like the purple. I drive by it a lot when I'm going home, and the purple looks so dope, especially like yeah. when it's like it's it's foggy and stuff. Yeah. The purple looks dope, and the way they're building all these like new high rises next to it, and mm-hmm. and whoever's playing at the time, they change the lights to it. Downtown's starting to look dope, dude. Like so, yeah. Just don't change the purple, please. That's what I care about. Like <laughs> Crypto.com <laughs> Arena sounds nice. Uh, don't change the purple. <laughs> <laughs> or else I'm gonna fucking start rioting. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Rest in uh, peace, Staples Center. Yeah. Rest in peace, Janky Town. Mugs. Uh, thanks, man. <laughs> for. Uh... <laughs> rest in... <laughs> oh, that was great. That yeah. Was good. Uh, so Mugs. Uh, like, yeah. Thanks for uh, for jumping on and recording with us with me. Of course. Uh, it was it was fun, man. Um, of course. I I hope we could do this again. I hope. We can continue I to, think so. to do this. Uh, you, you're feeling good about about uh, continuing the tradition. I think I think so. I think uh, if you and I could uh, maybe sit down, have uh, uh, some some coffee over at Tom's Urban across from the Crypto.com Arena, <laughs> uh, we can uh, kind of like you know hash it out and kind of you know see where see we go with the here. new format. Yeah, yeah, see yeah. what the new format is. So um, I think like maybe we uh, we can. Get re- refund the uh, our patrons for what the month of November? No, 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 no. Or, it's, that's we're far beyond that already. Um, okay, but well, no. Here's what I'm gonna do. Like, cause I'm gonna we're gonna do this, and and then if if you're down, I want to do another episode next week of just catching up on shit like the jank line. I want to catch up with the jank line. Like, okay, I want I want to I want to I want to close it like this year clean, right? So we're gonna right. do a jank line episode next. We're gonna listen to the rest of the calls. Uh, I don't know how, but we're we're gonna do it, uh, and we'll figure it we'll, out. we'll figure it out. Um, but December will pause. I'm gonna pause Patreon, uh, so th- you don't have to do anything. Um, you're not gonna get charged. Uh, I'm just gonna pause it, and and uh, yeah, and then on January first, uh, or the first week of January, um, we'll be back live, and you know, I hope Mugs is with me, and uh, and we'll be doing it. So so I I think I think uh, it's safe to say that Janky Town lives, right? For now. (laughs) You make me feel so comfortable.